Hey everybody, Collector Cousin here, and today I'm going to open up some new Pokemon Battle Styles packs. In this video, I'm going to weigh these packs to see if the set is weighable. Now, I couldn't even weigh these packs inside the store like I normally do because of how in demand all Pokemon products are. I got all these packs from Walmart, and I was actually surprised I was able to get 25 of these blister packs. Now, Walmart is really trying to stop you from opening these packs inside the store and stealing. They basically wrapped up the whole blister pack in plastic. But I was surprised to see that um, someone did manage to rip off the plastic, open up uh, the blister pack, take the booster pack, and open it up and see what's inside and leave all the cards behind some other magic cards. So that's something uh, they definitely don't want to see. Now, having them wrapped in plastic shouldn't affect the weights since the plastic weight should be consistent. And I already organized all the blister packs from the lightest ones over here to the heaviest ones here. And I'm also going to reweigh the packs after I take off the plastic wrapping, which should still maintain the same order because, like I said, the plastic weight should be consistent. So let's push up all these blister packs here. Now, if you're weighing these packs, you should be aware of certain blister packs having a security tag in them. And if you kind of look at them like this, you can see the little security tag there and it adds a bump on the back of the blister pack. And this does increase the weight of the blister pack. So the heaviest blister that I found was one weighing at 34.45 grams. And this blister with the security tag weighs in at 34.65 grams. So almost 0 0.25, 0 0.2 grams heavier. And I'll show you how the security tag looks like. I actually opened up this blister pack um, and there it is, the security tag. Not all of the blisters have them, but some do. So you definitely want to watch out for that. Now, if you guys want to weigh packs like me, the link for the scale I use is in the description down below. And before I weigh the packs further, I'm going to calibrate it with my 100 gram weight. Perfect, right on the money. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is weigh the packs and show you some of the weights you will expect to see when weighing the packs wrapped in plastic. So the lightest packs you can expect to see are ones weighing around 34.12 grams. The next stack here is a packs weighing around 34.18 grams. This stack here is a little bit heavier. It's in the 34.22 gram weight range. This pack weighs in at 34.26 grams. This Tyranitar blister weighs in at 34.33 grams. And the final pack, I already showed you the weight, but it weighs in at 34.44 grams. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is cut off the plastic wrapping off of all the blister packs, reweigh the packs, and I'll open them up. All right, so after removing all the plastic wrapping off of all of these blister packs, I found that there's actually a lot of variation between the plastic wrap. So I can show you some of the weights of the plastic wrap. This one weighs 2.50 grams. This one weighs 2.55 grams, so they're similar right now. This one weighs 2.61 grams. 2.61. Two point five zero. Oh, I weighed two there. Two point three eight. Two point three four. Two point four one. Two point six eight. So this is a heavy one. And then two point four four. So it's not much, but it definitely will throw off some of the weight. So I did kind of reorganize the stacks I had, not by much, but I did kind of condense them into four stacks. So this makes me believe that this set is kind of hard to weigh, but I guess you can still do it and we'll see what success I have with weighing this set. So let's get started by opening up the lightest packs. I still organize them from the lightest ones over here to the heaviest ones there. This one weighs in at 31.73 grams without the plastic. So the weight of the individual booster pack inside weighs 22.50 grams. And let's see what's inside. And I'm gonna skip the card trick. We have a white code card. 
and we have a hollow houndoom. Okay, so the next pack weighs in at 31.75 grams. The booster pack weighs in at 22.42 grams. So there is not only a lot of variation with the plastic wrap, but also in terms of the cardboard weights and the individual booster pack weights. A green code card, nothing good. A scent of scorch. So the light ones don't really have anything good. This next one weighs in at 31.81 grams, a little bit heavier. Let's see if it affects the weight of the individual booster pack. Not really, 22.47 grams. White code card. Let's see, oh, that's weird. Now they're hollow, but the energy is upside down. So I'm not gonna sleeve hollows. I'm just hunting for, you know, the ultra rares. And I'll sleeve those. Next pack weighs in at 31.86 grams. Maybe this should have been in a heavier category pack because it is quite heavy. 22.53 grams is the weight. I see a white code card, so that's a good sign. And another hollow houndoom. So I'm getting a bunch of hollows, but no ultra rare so far. 31.77 grams. Booster pack weighs in at 22.52 grams. Then be careful when opening up this one. Uh, didn't open it up too great. And we have a green code card, which means I have nothing. Okay, the next blister weighs in at 31.82 grams. Weight of the booster pack is 22.51 grams. And green code card, nothing. No chance of an amazing rare or anything like that in this set. So let's get right to the other one. No ultra rare so far, 31.82 grams. So maybe this does support the theory of no ultra rares or full arts being in the light packs. Green code card, nothing. And the last pack in the stack weighs in at 31.82 grams. The booster pack weighs in at 22.52 grams. Another green code card, nothing good. Just a clay doll. The next blister pack weighs in at 31.86 grams, so we're getting into the heavier category. The Tyranitar booster pack weighs in at 22.57 grams. And white code card. Do we have something good? Our first ultra rare, it's a Tapu Coco V. So let me grab a sleeve for this card. And I'm finding that the energy is flipped upside down, which is weird. Let me uh, know if you guys are also finding that when you're opening up packs of uh, battle styles. So first ultra rare, Tapu Coco. Next blister weighs in at 31.84 grams. And the booster pack weighs in at 22.45 grams, so the weights of the booster packs are pretty consistent. Again, it's really hard to weigh any sets now because um, they have green code cards and white code cards. This one has a green one, which guarantees you nothing good. Not even an amazing rare. And, uh, you know, I did have some success weighing Shining Fates, and that's because all the packs have white code cards. So this pack weighs in at 31.87 grams. The booster pack weighs in at 22.52 grams. And green code card, which means nothing. Next pack weighs in at 31.87 grams. The booster pack weighs in at 22.60 grams, so it's pretty heavy. Another green code card though, so nothing good. 
Next one weighs in at 31.88 grams. I'm really getting killed in this opening. I only got one ultra rare and I'm more than halfway done. 22.47 grams. Hopefully I have some more white code cards. If you guys want a code card, leave a comment down below and be sure to subscribe to my channel. Nothing, a Salazzle, non holo rare. So this blister pack weighs in at 31.93 grams. These ones are pretty heavy. The booster pack weighs in at 22.53 grams. White code card. So we have a chance of getting something good. Reverse negative energy, and we got a full art uh, flapple V Max. So our first V Max. I'll take it at this point. I'm not getting too many hits, so I will gladly take this VMAX full art card. Let me sleeve it up to protect it. There we go. So, hopefully, this means all of these heavy packs will have hits, but uh, I won't know until I open them up. This one weighs in at 31.92 grams again. The booster pack weighs 22.61 grams. white code card so that's something yes 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 we got our first rainbow rare the tapu coco v max rainbow rare to go with the tapu coco v awesome this card looks great okay so hopefully this means like i said all these um, packs have good cards in them i need a couple more secret rare pulls and this opening will be worth it This pack weighs in at 31.91 grams. Twenty-two-point five nine grams is the weight of the booster pack. Another white code card. Awesome. Two in a row. We got a level ball gold card. Awesome. Let me grab a sleeve for this. Okay, hopefully my streak continues with these heavy packs. This one weighs in at 31.90 grams. 22.54 grams is the weight of the booster pack. Will my streak end? Yes, it did end. I have a green code card, which means nothing. This one weighs in at 31.89 grams. The booster pack weighs in at 22.60 grams. Green code card, nothing. Next pack weighs in at 31.88 grams. And the booster pack weighs in at 22.60 grams. I butchered this pack, but I did get a white code card. And I have another Tapu Coco V. And the last pack, which is the heaviest pack, it weighs in at 32.00 grams. Hopefully it has something good. It weighs in at 22.58 grams. Let's see if we get a white code card. Nope, just a green code card. So we got nothing good. All right, so after weighing 20 Battle Styles packs from Walmart, I got these Ultra Rare Pulls. I got this Tapu Coco V. Actually got two of them. Followed by this Flapple V Max. This awesome looking Rainbow Rare Tapu Coco V Max. And the Secret Rare Gold Level Ball card. All right, so overall, these pulls were not bad. I got two secret rare pulls, which is great, um, but I didn't get too many ultra rares. Kind of leads me to believe that this set isn't weighable. I mean, the last couple sets weren't weighable because of the green and white code cards. I did get the two secret rares from the heaviest packs, but I definitely have to do a little bit more research to see if uh, this is consistent. Also, you need to be careful because these Walmart packs do have a lot of plastic, which tends to throw off the weight. 
So if you guys enjoyed this video of me weighing battle size packs and you want to see more, be sure to leave a like button down below and subscribe to my channel for more pack weighing videos in the future. Thanks for watching guys. Collector Cousin out.